at Pacific Sail. Hi, this is Catherine England from Catherine Studio. Welcome back. Today we are going to talk about drilling holes in glass. And this probably isn't something most of us use in our mosaics every day, but especially if you fuse glass, it's a nice thing to know how to do. Um, from making jewelry, uh, sometimes it's nice to have holes drilled. Uh, sometimes you actually just want a piece of glass to have a little like divot in it, and so we're going to talk about that. Um, and then uh, I'll show you just kind of a fun thing that I did with hole drilling. So it's pretty simple. Uh, you don't need expensive things, but I'm going to show you both ways to uh, use machines you probably already have at home to uh, drill the perfect hole in your glass. Um, my favorite tool right now is using my little stylus. This is a stylus by Dremel. Actually, I'm worried they don't make them anymore. It goes into a little rechargeable thing that holds it. And it's really great because you can put all the different tips in it that you can with a Dremel, but you can hold it nice because we use a Dremel. You should always drill with your elbow on the ground, on the table and drilling straight down, almost like a drill press. It's easier on your wrist, you can get a better, um, more strength and a better aim if you are holding it like this. So what's nice about this little pistol guy is I can hold it like that and it just goes straight and makes this kind of sound. Here it is. I love this little guy. So if you can get one of these and you haven't bought a Dremel yet, this is, I would get this. This is the Dremel stylus. So what you're going to need to do this method is you need a um, container of water. See, just something like that. Anything would do. And believe it or not, a hockey puck. Now, I live in California, so they're not easy to come by. I've had mine about, I don't know, forever and 5,000 days. So you probably can find one around somewhere. Those of you in the Midwest, why don't you send them out to everybody? That'd be lovely. Thank you so much. So we're putting in a water because water is always used for cooling, and it's just better on your um, drill tips. It keeps them sharper longer. And the drill tips that I'm going to use, this is a great little case of drill tips I got from Amazon. Again, a long, long time ago. They are still on Amazon. I think you could just type in diamond drill bits, a set of 30. I think they're like $7 for the whole thing, which is really lovely. Um, and I use these. these. These are great for sometimes when I'm using epoxy and I just missed a spot and it, it's kind of come up between the glass, I can use this to grind it out. Or I use Laticrete Thin Set and that stuff dries like a rock. So it kind of is a great way to clean that out as well. So to drill this hole, I'm, I'm gonna use one this size. See that? And I'm gonna put it in my little stylus. The same way you would put in a Dremel, you put it in and tighten it up. Okay, so I'm gonna angle the camera. Here we go. Okay, so I put my glass in here. It's gonna be loud and it's in the water. So I've just barely put the water above the hockey puck so that my drill is constantly being cooled as I drill. Ta-da! Look how fast that one. Isn't that lovely? Um, actually, I kind of want to drill a bunch of them and then grout them and have the little holes be polka dot. That, that kind of would be fun, don't you think? So the other way of drilling a hole is if you've got one of these glass uh, grinders. This is my Gladstar 2. You can see it's very well used. Um, they come with a sponge in the back that keeps, uh, that washes off the drum as it spins around. But for drilling holes, you can get these little attachments. Um, and here's, a, so that's a very, very tiny drill bit, probably an eighth of an inch. Here's one, this is a quarter of inch. This is how they come. So you can see they've got a little uh, screw thing that goes into the very, very top. And uh, with that uh, attached, then um, you can turn it on and it spins. 
um, I'm going to drill this. And I need to spray water on it while I'm drilling it to keep it um, from getting too dry and gunking up and ruining my drill bit. So, so I kind of I have to push on it really hard to get it, the divot in there and then just hold it. Uh, that I do using my drill bit. So you can see the eyes. I drilled the holes in her head and then cut those out. So then I fired them. They were holes. And actually these little tiny fingers, I use that drill to create the kind of divots that are, that define her fingertips. I'll go over to this one over here. Same thing over here. Just created little creases in between. So anyway, those are two methods for drilling holes in your glass. Remember when you fuse them, the glasses, the hole is gonna shrink a little bit. It's gonna get a little bit smaller, um, especially if you do a, few, a full fuse, it'll pretty much just disappear. And then you can go back in with one of these little tiny tips like this and just clean the hole out. So this is a really, this is a great thing worth buying. Dremels will run you about Mm, probably $80. Uh, when I bought my stylus, it was probably seven years ago and it was 60 or 70 at the time. So that was a little pricey. But um, if you don't have either one of these, it's time to be a big girl and buy one. So those are my tips for this week. Uh, go out and make great and extraordinary things. Thanks for checking in.